Every business is in business to make a profit. From Seattle, under the leadership of Chair Howard Schultz, Starbucks sells coffee to the world. We're in a position where we have to hire a lot of people uh, because of the growth and development of the company, and we have benefited specifically uh, from hiring people with certain disabilities who have added value to the company and who have done a great job. Courtney Block works at this Starbucks in Seattle. All the people are really nice and warm. Across town at Children's Hospital, Kevin's job is to move supplies and equipment to where they are needed. At Northgate Mall, Priscilla is on her way to work at Auntie Anne's Pretzels. I'm always early to work. Priscilla, Kevin, and Courtney. Three great hires. Three stories, three people wanting to work. Three workplaces offering opportunities, jobs. The opportunities for people with disabilities are in fact quite broad. True, but employers have to know this doesn't happen by itself. If you use your imagination, uh, you can see ways pretty quickly to enable people with disabilities to have an opportunity within your workforce. Kevin's arrival at Children's took some imagination at first. When I first saw Kevin coming in, I saw him and I thought to myself, oh my God, <laughs> he's so small. I don't know if he could do this job. Kevin's coworker Janet admits she had her doubts, but not for long. He's the kind of person that he wants to work. He don't like to sit around. He proved to us that he can do this job. He proved to us that, hey, if you can do it, I can do it. Sometimes employers make small allowances to help employees navigate new challenges. Priscilla's great, and you know, it takes skill to be able to establish relationships with, not just immediate relationships with your customers or potential customers, but also with your coworkers. And in Priscilla's case, a small tray for the pretzel she sells. I think our customers react extremely positive. That's evidenced by when Priscilla works, we have higher sales. Would you like to try a sample today, sir? Priscilla puts Auntie Anne's pretzels off the tray and into people's mouths, and they, she turns them into customers. And so there's, there's, real, there's real benefit, there's real dollars that come in from, from her working. The key for employers is to integrate workers into the flow. She loves doing cow. It's coffee of the week, and you grind coffees into filters. You use the machine. Actually, she wanted to work originally in the business offices, but we found she was really, it was more of a match for her in the service area. She was wanting to be friendly and handle customers. A support agency helps, helps people to keep their jobs for the life of their job and make sure that communication between co-workers and supervisors and um, the participants are is really smooth and clear. I did a, a lot of things here like washing dishes. I work at the condiment bar. I help with keeping the lobby clean. The two-way benefit, employer and worker, actually add up to a third benefit for co-workers. And I think the success that we've had as a company is directly linked to wanting to build the kind of company that has a soul and uh, not squeeze every dime out of everything we do, but, and, but in doing so, make a profit, do good things. And I think this program uh, has, has generated so much goodwill inside our company and with our customers that I'm quite sure that we're more successful and we, we will be more successful as a result of a program like this. One of the great things about having people with disabilities within your workforce is the uh, inspiration that their coworkers, their new coworkers, derive from seeing people with disabilities rise to the challenge uh, and work alongside them. Working alongside someone who has a disability uh, has benefited not only the person, but the person working next to them because they've learned something about life, about other human beings, and I think it's opened up a whole new world for us. King County Executive Ron Sims sees an untapped resource. If you want to talk economics, it makes sense. If you want to talk morality, it makes sense. If you want to talk about just good management, it makes sense. There is no downside to opening the doors to individuals to support an employment program. For those who do the hiring, the goal remains viability and profitability. 
Supported employment can generate good business and goodwill. Uh, we've been thanked so much by her parents and people who know her for hiring Courtney. And at the end of the day, I think everyone who has been touched by Courtney, most importantly Starbucks, really are the people who should be thanking her and her family because she's brought so much to the company. But you generally can make more money and be more profitable if you do good things. Howard Schultz and other business leaders are looking at workers like Courtney, Kevin, and Priscilla. Companies reaching out to hardworking employees, making great hires. Supported employment makes good business sense, regardless of the size of your company. It is built on a commitment to people, to your company, to the community. To learn more about how supported employment can make a positive difference for your company, contact a supported employment agency in your area. You will receive technical assistance in finding new employees and matching jobs to the right people, and ongoing training and technical support for coworkers and managers.